Uh, the exhibition is a collection of three series of work I've done in the United States over 12, 14 years, um, brought together in this one exhibition under the one title, The Whiteness of the Whale, La Blanche de la Valencienne. Um, so I'm English, but I live in America, and I have worked there for 15, 16 years now. And um, these three bodies of work come together and fit together quite neatly, you know. Um, and we decided to put them together as a collective uh, exhibition uh, of all the work. La Blanche de la Blanchine is, of course, uh, The Whiteness of the Whale. It's from Moby Dick, the great American novel by Helen Melville. And um, read that if you need the explanation. Well, the first work, La Nuit Americaine, or American Night, is, um, is the one where it clearly talks uh, about the social division, fracture social, maybe, uh, in, um, in the United States, about between rich and poor, have and have not, white and black, of course. Um, and it deals with the, how the poor are rendered invisible, you know, how we go about our lives in America and choose not to see the poor, really, choose to edit them out of our vision. And it's, it's necessary to get on with your life in some ways, but it's also a tragedy for those people. Um, and it does that simply with these white, overexposed pictures where it's very almost invisible to see the people and you have to want to see them. You have to choose to look at them. So it makes a very simple point there. The second part, Shimmer of Possibility, is not so direct. It's more subtle, it's more elusive. It deals with everyday life. There's no drama. Um, with the flow of, of life happening through and around American suburbs, you have people doing Things like um, waiting for a bus, or cutting the grass, or taking the shopping home. Um, and just the dignity and beauty, and sometimes the tragedy of, of those moments. Um, yeah, so very simple in that way. entirely sure I understand the question, but I, I can talk about the present a bit. The, um, I hope also the, in French, the, the, the title in English, the present has a double meaning, of course, two, two readings, the, the present us in this instant and the present us in a cadeau, a gift, you know, so it, it plays with that, uh, that notion. Uh, here is this moment and it is a gift. Um, and of course, what I've done with the present is have uh, a double moment, or sometimes, not so often, but occasionally three moments sequentially coming at you. On the street, how somebody arrives, is you're very aware of this one individual, and then one, two, five seconds later, it is another person. That person the first person has left, and another person has arrived, and how our awareness changed. Sometimes there's a connection between them, you have the here you have the man, the Sikh man, with his, uh, his religious uh, signifier on his head. And actually in the background here, walking into the picture a moment later, is the Jewish man with his religious uh, signifier. Um, you can see it's the same flowing sequence because this man with the red bag has become this man with the red bag. So you have this, this flow of life moving through the street, you know, and these coincidences, these collisions, these fortuitous uh, arrivals are kind of the beauty and wonder of, of life in a big city. Um, and there is comedy, there is tragedy, there is uh, racism, there is uh, youth and uh, old age, there is different religions, different beliefs. Um, all that collides together into the present as it does in the present day. First photographic memory has to be discovering 
serious work, you know, finding it. No one showed me, no one, I was not an art student, I've never studied art or photography, um, but going to a library in a university and finding this section of books called American Studies, which was for anthropologists and sociological studies, and it had in it Diane Arbus, Lee Friedlander, Robert Frank, Walker Evans, Paul Strand, the FSA work, you know, it was, a, it was only that long, maybe that much books, and uh, fantastic, you know, this light bulb going on in my head where, oh wow, you know, you can make uh, photographic literature, you can say something really serious with the camera, and until then, if you looked at the magazines, all you thought was you took pictures of, uh, you took pictures of uh, interesting views and uh, sunsets and uh, your girlfriend in a bikini or something like this and suddenly there was something else, this whole world opened up. So that was a very key moment, although on my own in a, in a, in a the library of discovering that. Oh. Uh, oh. I mean, you know, I've, I've been coming here, I've been here, I've exhibited here three times. First time was 31, 32 years ago with Troubled Land under a bridge and being shocked that they suggested this place under a bridge and me not realizing that's where it was. The work went up and the work went down under the bridge every day. They put it under this, under this uh, overpass. Uh, and that was quite a shock to show there. Um, and then 12, 13 years ago, one more time and now. Um, I remember being here with Martin Parr one time and we were all were going for dinner and a, you know, you welcome all the young photographers here. You know, I was one myself at the beginning and this was a bit later. And um, Martin inviting this young Australian woman and saying, we're going to dinner here, why don't you come? And she came and sat in the restaurant, she looked at the menu and said, I'm sorry, I can't afford to be here. And just got up and decided to leave. And Martin was saying, stop, 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 we'll pay. Stay here, you know? And he was right in that, you know, that uh, to have that generosity to realize, you know, people have budgets and they don't want to eat in a, it wasn't that fancy, but expensive restaurants. And I thought that spirit was uh, very admirable in him and everyone, we all, we all contributed, but it was a very admirable thing. <laughs>